I've lived with horses ever since I can remember and have been riding since I was five years of age. I live in Colorado and we typically have a lot of deer and elk sightings in the area of the countryside where I often took my horse out for rides. I've only ever boarded my horses at barns closer to the back country where there are very few cars and would often take my horse Raj out for sunset rides in the large field behind the barn. During those rides, it was very common to see small herds of elk or deer prancing through the roads on the other side of the fence, or sometimes even in the field with us. Nothing unusual, just the normal evening crowd along with the normal coyotes and red foxes. For quite a while, I'd been fascinated by the stories of skinwalkers, and wendigos, and various other cryptids, but never truly believed in them since I myself had never actually encountered anything of the sort, nor had I heard of any sightings of such creatures, at least not in my particular area. The most dangerous animals in my part of the state were mountain lions or black bears. But they usually stayed far away from people for the most part, unless you were living in the Rockies. Because of this, I never held any fear of being out on my own in the darkness, and, and horses being prey animals are often highly acute to any type of danger. So I always felt safe. One night in late December, however, something happened that will forever be present in my memory. This happened several years ago now, so perhaps my memory has filled in some spots here and there, but there are some details that I will never be able to forget. Many of the horses on the farm lived out in the dry lot across from the field, including my large black gelding, Raj. There were even some larger draft horses that resided within the herd of our smaller quarter horses and Arabians. And because of the size difference, injuries were relatively common. One morning, I came out to the barn as usual only to find one of my friend's horses with a set of deep gashes along her flank, shoulders, and chest. They looked relatively narrow, and the entire herd was pretty worked up. Some of the other horses still snorting or flagging their tails in alarm. This particular horse had a bad habit of getting a little too excited and I assumed she must have run into the barbed wire fence since there was a small section of it in the wooded part of the dry lot that seemed to be down. The vet was called and she turned out to be just fine. However, as the days dragged on, the horses grew more and more agitated especially when there were elk or deer around, which was unusual since they were so used to having them around, so often traveling through the fields, and more of them turned up with the same deep scratches as the first horse, always on their haunches, shoulders, sometimes even their necks. For a while, we thought perhaps it had been a cougar or perhaps a starving pack of stray dogs as they were common around the area, though the wounds never seemed to truly match either of them, which was odd. We could never quite place exactly what was injuring our animals, 
and it was both baffling and very worrying at the same time. One cooler night in late December, I was driving out to the barn as usual to take my horse out for a ride. As I made my way up the driveway past the dry lot, however, I noticed the horses desperately tearing around their enclosure, tails up and heads held high. I looked over to see what might have spooked them, curious as to why they were so worked up, but couldn't see much at first other than a deer standing in the middle of the field. A relatively large buck from the looks of it. Slowing my car to a stop, I stared at the deer for a few more moments before it raised its head and looked right at me. Though after getting a good look at its face, I felt my blood run cold. This supposed deer had two dark, forward-facing eyes, and it was horribly thin, as if I could count every bone in its body. Yet it was much larger than any deer or elk I'd ever seen. It almost seemed to be staring right into my very soul. And it almost appeared as though his face was more bone than fur. Its front legs were misshapen, looking more like the legs of a dog than a deer. And as I continued to stare at it, the cold fear grew like a cloud of smoke inside of my veins. Everything inside of me telling me to turn around and get the heck out of there. Without warning, it turned and bolted through the field over the small hill that led to the road, disappearing into the growing darkness. I no longer felt safe keeping my horses at that barn ever since that night and quickly packed up and moved. I'm fairly sure that thing, whatever it was, had been what likely was attacking the horses in the field. But to me, that had always seemed very unlikely. I moved barns soon after that and never saw or heard of anything like that ever happening again. For several months, I tried to convince myself that it was probably just an elk with chronic wasting disease, a sickness that can make a deer or elk lose a lot of weight and even give them a much more eerie appearance. However, after doing more research on cryptids, I now truly believe that what I saw must have been a Wendigo or something of that sort. Whatever it was, there's one thing I know for sure. Deer don't hunt horses. I hope that I won't have another experience like that again. And now I try to avoid visiting the barn alone at night for fear of running into anything like that ever again.